Today I'm going to show you my full photo editing workflow for editing cinematic photos in Lightroom Classic. So let's jump straight into it. And first off, I'm going to pick a preset from my basics preset pack. And what I think is the best one for this photo was I went through this. I think it's this 26. Uh, this pack is designed to give you a starting point for pretty much any type of a photo. A good enough starting point to get you editing, get you going with your edit or to just kind of see what type of an edit you want to do for your image. Just kind of give you some insights. If you want to buy this preset pack, you can do so from the links down in the description. And that would really help me out if you did. But now we have a decent preset. What I want to do is add a bit of kind of detail into the highlights. So just going to bring down the highlights a little bit. This has been taken with the Laowa 45 millimeter f0.95 lens, which I have a review on on my channel. And that's kind of I guess I was a def 0.95 because that's just crazy and I wanted to use that all the time. But as you can see, it's not really the sharpest image that you've ever seen because it's like focusing with that lens is it's really hard. So that also gives you a nice bit of kind of cinematic stuff in the highlights. Uh, also, if you want to have a cinematic photo, you're going to have to have the photo straight out of the camera, kind of looking a bit cinematic. I don't like the word, but that's just what I'm going to go with. Uh, because yeah, like you have to have a good composition and good lighting and something kind of cool going, going on with the image to make it look cinematic. You can't just do all of it by editing. What I want to do is give this a soft look. So with the curves, just going to go down with like adding a bit of contrast, but then pulling up kind of the black point. Like just making it soft there. Same thing with the highlights. So just kind of pulling the highlight down quite a bit. And that's just going to give you that soft kind of filmic look. Actually, I like the colors of this image straight away. I want to have it like very red. So just going to go down with the yellows and the oranges to kind of emphasize the red part there. But what I need to do is just kind of bring down the saturation quite a bit because I do want to keep the detail in the colors. So that's why you have to sometimes bring down the saturation a little bit. And I also don't like too saturated images. I, I really prefer kind of muted colors in a way. What I'd like to do is bring down the luminance of the red a little bit, but then go up with the like yellows and oranges to kind of really show that the light is coming from up top here. Well, obviously these kind of Christmas lights as well. But... And then there's a bit of uh, added effect with the color grading here. But what I'm going to do is make the highlights a lot more red, just kind of give it that red look and then a bit more blue or teal or however you want to call this color into the shadows. I don't want to go too purple, but I don't want to go too green either. So just going to leave it at the teal, teal blue color there. Actually, I think the inside here is looking a bit too orange. So I'm just going to Kind of even that out with the uh, mid zone slider here or mid zones circle. What is it? Wheel, color wheel. That's what it's called. Um, what I want to do is get rid of these kind of this this window doesn't look too good. So I'm just going to get rid of the like blues and then the aquas and maybe there's a bit of green as well to like make it less noticeable. What I want to do is bring up the luminous noise reduction quite a bit. I want to really make it that or give it that soft look. And then what I want to do is add a lot of grain. So just going to go up with the grain. Actually, I'm going to zoom in to see what I'm doing up with the grain. And I want it to be like okay. a if you go too high up with the grain, it's going to look just like very soft. So this <laughs> this is not looking sharp at all anymore. So uh, don't go too far with your grain. Just going to give it a bit of that grainy look. Is that something that I like to have when you're going for that kind of, I don't know, cinematic vibe. Someone should come up with a different name for cinematic because, you know, when you think of, well, I guess it's more of a video thing, but when you think of cinematic B-roll, when have you ever seen a movie with a B-roll sequence like you see in the cinematic B-roll videos? There aren't such things like you don't you don't have those in there. Uh, just gonna crop in a little bit. Gonna get rid of the like roof there. 
I want to keep them centered and the Lindex logo there is centered as well. I could try and erase that in Photoshop. Not sure if I will. I also want to get rid of these windows. Uh, what I'm going to do is create a mask, just a linear gradient onto the bottom part of the image. Just going to add a bit of contrast in there. So just go up with the whites, with the highlights and then down with the shadows. Just this is a very small tweak, but you can see what it's doing. Kind of emphasizing the glow uh, on the street there. Yeah. So before and after you can see it's a kind of a big difference, but it's not that massive. Like you have in the like unedited photo, you also have this like nice color tone feeling to it, but this is just kind of pushing the look more. Hmm. I don't know. I think it's looking good. Uh, I'm going to try and go to Photoshop. So just going to hit command E or control E if you're on windows and then uh, I can close down that photo. I don't need it there. I'm going to create a new layer and then have my magic remove tool thing. Sample all layers selected. And then I'm just going to try and erase this window. That should be an easy job. It's taking long. How is this so slow? It shouldn't be that big of a deal. Hmm. I don't know if my Photoshop froze. Could be. Let's cancel that. No. Ha, <laughs> that's a bit too far. Let's see if we can do it now. Yeah. You know, it doesn't like if you zoom in, it doesn't really look that good because this kind of, I don't know what you call that. The like pillars on the wall. It shouldn't continue like that, but it doesn't really matter. It's dark and you can't really make out the details. So it doesn't really, I don't care. It, it's good enough. And then I'm going to remove this window as well. Same thing here. You know, you should have just like a flat wall there. Photoshop doesn't know it, but people that are going to see this image just quickly aren't really going to care either. Now, what I want to try is get rid of this Lindex logo. I'm just actually going to create a new layer for this. I don't think, I mean, I could be wrong. The eraser tool or the remove tool is incredible, but let's see what it does. Yeah, it's, you can see all of this like weird detail here, the stuff that shouldn't be in there. I'm just going to keep on painting over, over stuff in here. So maybe we can kind of blend it in there. I don't need it to be perfect. I'm really like, this is just going to go for my archives. If you know, like I'm not going to share this photo anywhere. It's not the type of a photo that I would share, for, for example, on Instagram, something like that. Now I kind of have gotten rid of it. Now it looks like the only light source is this massive light up there. Now I'm also going to remove some of these most distracting elements. Well, yeah. Hmm. Nothing too bad there. Let's just save this and go back to Lightroom for a bit of comparison between these two. So this is the difference between that. Okay. I don't know. I could actually darken. Ah, I thought I could darken the sides here, but I don't want to do that. I think this looks fine. It looks like a cinematic filmic image. I don't know. Huh. These are not the type of images that I usually like create or edit or, you know, take in the first place. So not kind of my cup of tea, but you know, this is how I would edit a photo like this. So let's just reset this from this to this. It could be a nice little scene from a movie. These two people walking on a Christmas, like Christmas day, walking past this red store. I don't know, but yeah, that's how I would edit this photo. So I hope this uh, video helped you out in figuring out how to edit cinematic photos in Lightroom Classic. So 
I hope you learned something new. If this was helpful, please leave a comment down below. If you didn't like this, if there's something that I could do better, just leave a comment down below. Anyways, and I'll try to learn to become a better, I don't know, YouTube guide for photo editing. So thank you for watching and I hope I will see you in the next one. Shoo.